Hello and welcome back to Code Buds. Hello. Hello. All right. Uh, let's run down what we just did. You me, well, you want me to do it? You go for it. All yeah, this stuff. Go ahead and look at the log. Look at that log. Ah. Uh, we came to Yid. Or wide. I like Yid, actually. That's not a bad way of saying it. I've always said Eid. Yeah. We, Yid. uh... We sold all our ther thermoelectric cells. Bought a flawless Christ Christeel shard mail. Yep. And some herberies. And a blaze injector. And a rock. Yep. We realized we had a laser pistol in our pocket. Broke it down. Solar armor. I put my precinct navigator back on because we got rid of that spore. Spore friend. Uh, we made a meal to see what trash the man had downstairs. Our friend, um, I forget his name, Tilla for Gaywix. Oh. The uh, plant merchant of Eid. Tilly Frigowitch. Yeah. Sold him a bunch of stuff. Bought some boots. Broke the boots down for a sweet seven bit. And then... Uh, made my new armor slightly sturdier. Yep. So we we basically uh, made like an, a lateral upgrade from our previous armor because crystal i'm so, i was surprised to find out flawless crystal was the same av bonus as our previous armor um but it weighed and it weighed the same because you modified the old one with willowy uh the main benefit is that the new armor gives us more dv but we're still at a negative six so that part doesn't really matter um but modifying it was reinforced means it had one more av than the previous one so we did pay quite a lot of money for one extra AV, but uh, I still think that every AV is important. So, anyway, um, we're going to do some ruin diving as so as to grind up some more XP and um, prepare for the Tomb of the Eaters. We're, we're pretty well prepared now, but it would be nice if we could raise, <clears throat> apparently I'm dying today, our uh, cybernetics uh, license enough so that we can um, wear our cathedra and uh, I mean that's probably over prepared for Tomb of the Eaters but you know that's fine um, I guess we can definitely check out all of these ruins on the surface that one we've been to I think we've been to the rest of it. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. There's a lot of ruins. We've been a lot to a lot of ruins. All right. Some new flashing uh, little friends. There's one right over here. There is one over there. And you want to check that out? We'll probably die, but we're very close and we just saved. So we could have a quick look. See what a ruin looks like in the deep jungle. Ooh, <laughs> boar smell. Yes. Since I experience a sense memory of a roasted poor smell, that's the advanced version. Mm. Hate that. Still no. Still no. Maybe never. <laughs> mm. All right. Okay. Well. We're at tenth Alamu. Let's see what we have to uh, what it has to offer. Uh, I got a statue. Nothing too spicy so far. There is a laser chain turret. There is some Svardim. Oh, there's actually quite a few Svardim. Yeah, you're you're actually um, in a potential pickle here. But Svardim... Okay, so Svardim, uh, they're frogs. They're frog lads. And they're kind of like the goat folk of the coral reef. Um, you know, they're, they're a fairly angry bunch and, uh, they're usually aggro. However, they don't have seed sowers. So like, they're not, I, I've always 
thought they they ended up not being as spicy as goat folk in a weird way and they give you a lot of xp so yeah go at it um you might i, I think you'll actually be okay here what's this x mean uh so it switches to latched on to yeah okay. you're latched on to Things may go sour very quickly, or they may not. Who knows? You can't... Yeah, Flurry... Flurry isn't going to really do anything. But... Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, get away from that. Yeah, Juke wouldn't be a bad idea at all, actually. Just, like... Juke away. Uh... Well, let's kind of hope that you get lucky here. I mean, I could fly away. You could. Getting, like, that thing isn't going to kill you. It's just going to be a problem. Oh. Where's your slam? Slam dunk. That's Vardim. Nice. And you did get lucky. The uh, Time Space Vortex did not, in fact, suck you into its entropy. Let's, uh, yeah, you can do a charge. That's good stuff going on here. You're far enough away from that vortex, you'll probably not... It's not going to be a, a problem. You got hobbled, but you're good. This is good. This is going well. And, uh, this is actually exactly kind of what we want, because these guys are worth a lot of XP. You can see the small guys are worth 250 each. The big guys are actually worth 800 each. And they're not a huge problem. I appreciate your caution in not um, auto exploring. There are likely some more foes, but it doesn't look like anything. Was it the frogs that made that? What's that guy? That is a reef lad. Reef hermit. He no. has an eigen rifle. So he's no. average. You could, we could consider um, being aggressive ourselves on that lad, because that's the kind of thing we want to find in a ruin. So finding it on the surface is quite nice. What was your question? Sorry. I don't know that I had one. Oh. Am oh. I... Ye. Who made that little space distortion thing? Uh, probably the elder Svardim. I think they have mental mutations. And that's what makes them spicy, and that's why they're 800 XP. So yeah, I mean, you will be in danger when you fight them, but like, no more than you, you know, like, this is this is the thing about the late game, is like, you, you can prepare all you want, you can raise your AV all you want, um, you can, yeah, you can kill that. But like, at the end of the day, uh, when things are so spicy and good, they become unpredictable. That's that's really their biggest uh, threat, is the unpredictability of it. And like, throwing out a space-time vortex is definitely part of that spice. You can't really do anything about that. Like, you could maybe try and ground them astrally with some like normality gas or um, anchors and stuff like that, ontological anchors. But like, you can't really prepare for every situation. Maybe you can, I don't know. Maybe that's my failing as a cud player. We have more. More lads. I just really love those the, the art for the, the Svardim frog tiles. There's something about them that is just like really my jam. <laughs> you can become friends to the Svardim. I have done so. They're not, uh, they're not... Oh, that guy was worth 800 XP. Oh, we don't need that. Oh, more. So, yeah, I guess the guy... I think the guy with the, like, the little winged ears, the elder, uh, I think that, that he has mental mutations. And I don't think you can even know what they are. Like, they might be different every time. I might be wrong about that, though. That was good. Oh, nice, nice uh, crit. Wounded. 
Good lord. That guy was worth... Galen. That guy was worth 1,700 XP. And look at him now. And look at him now. Dead. I have to imagine he has some pretty good stuff. I, uh, I have no regrets about us coming here. This is amazing. Okay, what is that? Nothing. He has nothing but an Aegis, huh? Why am I dying? You got, oh, I'm bleeding. you got, uh, hobbled. Like, stabbed. And, I mean, it sucks, but, um, because they're high level, they hobble you pretty badly, but, um, you should be okay. Wow, nothing, huh? That sucks. Oh. Just, just, just exposure and experience, you know? I really, fish really hate me. I guess it's because I killed that legendary fish that one time. Yeah, that is, re that is why. Uh, something you could do, um, you could turn butcher corpse back on and also, um, harvest plants. Cause there are some new harvestables on this tile that we may have never seen before. Harvest plants is already on. Okay. Butcher corpse. I think you can butcher Svartim. We can Let's certainly try. Let's find out. Raw frog meat. Raw frog meat. Okay, that's not as exciting as I was hoping for. But that's okay. I think we should be okay to auto-explore at this point. I think you looked at the bulk of the place, and I want you to check out that... Um, your dude is going to do it for you. He's going to grab that bop. Yeah. You got some bop cheek. What is that? No, oh, antidote. Shrewd triumph. While traveling through Granary District, Mimmer, Indigo 3, this effer again stopped at a market in Vain. Secure shop, he purchased a shrewd hammer and named it Shrewd Triumph Antidote Gift. Oh, really. a hammer, huh? Lost Shrewd trick in a foolhardy bet. Yo. First the tab and then left Kuena. wonder if that would be, I mean, it, I, I, you know, we are, so I don't know if I mentioned uh, already on screen, but we're, I'm, I'm pushing potentially the idea of getting rid of our crystal hand bones. If we could get a, a historic site hammer, that would be kind of amazing. Um, you want to approach that guy with some danger or some caution, I mean. Yeah, I mean, shooting it with a sniper rifle, that's not a bad idea. This is fine. You have the, you have the accuracy advantage on him. Nice. Listen, little fish. I'm busy. They're cute. I like the little perch. Well, they don't like me. That's true. You killed their hero. Laser chain turrets are, you know, a problem. But, um, I think you're well equipped for them at this point. Whoa, 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 go back up. Ooh. There was, I know there was something. I know it says Crystal everywhere, but I think there was something. Crystal something? Crystal Aegis to your right. Uh, that, that is just a straight up upgrade to your shield. I don't think that, yeah. You could just drop your, um, full right. Cause it's, it's heavier even. So that's a nice find. I don't know what dropped that. But, um, that's a good one. It was one. in ashes, so whatever it is, it got lasered, I guess. Probably, you know what might have happened is, um, I wonder, is that hermit still around? I wonder if they got killed by the... He didn't have a shield. He didn't have a shield. No, he's up top, up top something. There he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. I wonder if, like, usually something dies when a, a laser hits it. Uh, it turns to ashes. So I'm wondering if something walked by the laser turret and then, uh died and the only thing that survived was the uh crystal agus ruin of cats i'm traveling through the spring district angle up and a stop to the tavern he's got a they they're all big tavern stoppers and servatum grotto 
There she lost her prize, unfamiliar, the rune of cats, in a foolhardy bit. She goes to tavern and left her bottom grotto. All right. Well, you've got a new location for a historic site. That's definitely worth going to. Maybe, I don't know how where it is, but we could try a late game uh, historic site. Although the last one we tried had more of those jerks that we don't like. Bears. Yeah, the bears, that's right. The bears are the problem. All right. Um, Done. Do you want to do you want to try and kill the hermit, uh, the reef hermit? Why well, he didn't do anything? It's it's true, he did, however, collect very valuable goods. All right, sorry, Mister. Where'd you go? Oh, he knows. <laughs> he knows. We'll definitely want the range on him. Although he has an Eigen rifle, so he probably has a pretty good, decent range attack. So maybe just I lost him. Melee hitting you. You want him to survive? Okay. I lost him. I don't know where he is, man. All right. I can't. Like it's not. Yeah. <laughs> He's around here somewhere. All right. There he is. There he is. Is that a charge? No. Nope. Yep. Conk. There we go. I mean, I feel bad about it too, but like, we're we're out here for a purpose. We want to. You'll probably level murder. up. Murder. Yeah, murder. <laughs> There you go. You leveled up. 126 skill points, inspiration, and a bunch of stuff that you already picked up. Um, Ooh, he's got crayons. He does have crayons. He had an Eigen rifle. He got, he had a biodynamic cell. That's kind of a big deal. Gained 775 XP. So, um... We have some skill points now. I'd say uh, th this was a really nice ruin. I'd say we should get, head back to Yid to um, make it canon. We don't have to do anything there. Just like set a checkpoint. Mm -hmm. Not sure what we're looking at next for skills. Well, you seem pretty hyped on becoming a better shield boy. It is really nice. Like you're already um... you're already stun locking things. So you don't necessarily need it. Hello, plane, and thank you for just being I thought we already got staggering block did we die after no, we took it I just uh, never took it uh, yeah so that's an automatic thing right yep I guess that's fine <laughs> all right nah uh, that was our only Ruin in the deep jungle. I guess it was technically in the lake. You got really lucky there, actually. I just realized that that was in the lake and not actually in the deep jungle. If it was in the deep jungle, you probably would have ate it. It might not be a terrible idea to roam around in the uh, the coral reef. Um. You could do some clam hopping. I'm sorry? So go back to your current location. Yeah. See that clam uh, mm -hmm. at the bottom of the screen? Just click on that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, move, move into it. There you go. Hello. 
you are now one stratum deep in the subterranean reef. There is a fairly spicy lad that will confuse you. However, killing him will uh, net you quite a, a bit of XP. He also confused the clam, which is fun. Oh, there is a Sultan Croc. I would not have signed you up for Sultan Crocs. I don't know. I don't see the Sultan Croc, but I saw it in the in the log. Submerges. They. I guess everything's normal now. So you could try and go and kill that snail. You can't charge. Yeah. <laughs> I like the like increase in in like rapid succession. Like smack, 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 smack. Snails have high AV. That guy's got gave you eight hundred. Oh yeah, you could get an Enigma cap. I don't know what that does. I think it gives you resistance to confusion. Grants you confusion. Wow. That's kind of fun. What are you currently mm. wearing? I, I probably you will take an AV loss for that one. The helmet. The. Yeah. Oh, it's you only lose one AV. You want to like confuse opponents? That's kind of fun. Enigma cap. Wow, it's really expensive to mod that. Well, we have a cool snail hat. I I disagree with the fact that it doesn't give you reputation with mollusks. Can't believe there's a centipede here. Like, where the heck did that come from? So, I haven't yet seen the Sultan Croc. Um, so we're... I guess we're okay, but... As soon as you see a Sultan Croc, I mean, I'm not going to say you should run. I am going to say, though, that you should only fight it at range. Not a lot going on here. Where are the... Like, there must be a centipede nest. Yeah, there's there's got to be a centipede nest. There it is. They don't even grant you any XP now. That's where That's where we're at. Famished. I'm hungry. I don't see very well down here. No, all of that kind of like tubing and stuff is is it blocks your vision. Which I do I I guess does lend to the spiciness of this area. What do you want to make? Some fun? Um well, I we might have to subscribe to the idea that we're never going to get neutron flux. So why don't you cook with a drop of nectar? Actually, you don't want to be inspired when you do that. Um, something fun. Why don't we do like a concentrated still beard gland paste? Um, dream smoke. Mm, now, now's not a good like if you're cooking some, something functional. I, don't, I wouldn't say. Is a good time. Could do like mashed lag. And uh spine fruit jam. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, we okay. Well, I mean that's pretty good. Plus four willpower. That's actually really good, except for the fact that you just lost your armor. You're going to lose a ton of AV for having that, unfortunately. Uh, is the risk of using, um, of cooking with spine fruit jam? Yeah, you just lost four AV. That sucks. It's really annoying that, um, it, like, certain ingredients are just make, giving you only one choice. Because we don't want quills ever, basically. All right. Confuse them back. You did it. <laughs> That's great. I love that. Um, 
the null worm successfully cracked your armor, and so you're at AV12 now. It's kind of a bummer, I won't lie. I mean, I can... No, I can't right now. No, you can't. You're not in immediate danger, and that's the good news. There we go. Uh, well, I guess it only cracked your polyhedral rings. I don't know why you lost two AV, but you did. You can just charge it. You see it. Okay. A jellerfish. A jellerfish. Yeah, that thing is a, a little bit spicier than what you've seen so far. But that's okay. Um, it hasn't noticed you yet, so you have every opportunity to fight it at ranged. And that is, you know, how you want to fight a jellerfish. Um, what is it called again? A plasma jelly. So that gives you kind of a clue as to how it fights. I hope you kill it before it gets to you, but if it, uh, if you don't, then it's not the end of the world. Oh, lucky hit there. Ah, that's not good. It's getting... Whoa, what? Okay, never mind. I see what happened there. You killed it, and then it uh, explodes into plasma. And that did, like, a ton of damage to the uh, surrounding tiles. Nice. Good call. I actually didn't know you could repair Cracked. Who's that guy? That is just a um, trash monk. They don't really have much to offer. If it was a tr um, like a trash abbot, I would, you know, maybe suggest we take, you know, end them. I love a trash abbot. They usually have some really good stuff. <laughs> Just shoot into the into the reef. Okay. This is all. Fine. Oh, you're going to confuse... You don't have the range. Unfortunately, I don't think you'll have the range until they're in range. And then, uh, you know... Can you, can you confuse them before they confuse you? I kind of doubt it. Mm. You probably charge them before they confuse you, and then you can just... Yeah. You know exactly where they are. Nice. <laughs> All right, this is good XP. This is all very good. I mean, um, a coral reef, I, I, I like it as a training ground. Um, it's not nearly as spicy as uh, I ever expect it to be. It's, it's actually quite chill. Um, there is the occasional creature that will be not chill. And so um, that kind of unpredictability is what leads me to just go do ruin diving instead. Because I, I always know that I'm going to find some good stuff. But also, you're at the point now... And, and you know, at, in this game where... Reload your gun. <laughs> where, like... Ah, there's nothing to shoot. Yeah, I, I don't know. It just bothers, it just bothers me. Um, in order to get things that would, like, tangibly help you, you would have to probably travel to, like, 12 strata deep um, in a ruin... And at that point, things get, like, really suddenly nasty. And that's when you start seeing rocket turrets and all kinds of horrible stuff that just, like, makes life miserable. So I actually do think that hanging out in the reef was a good call. There is the occasional, like I say, creature that will, like, suddenly just end you. But um, we're, we're betting that we don't encounter that. Yeah, I don't know where that uh, clam thing you saw. It's wait, what thing? You were afraid of some kind of big. There croc was a sultan croc. I saw it in the log, and then I never saw it again. Like it, I saw like crocs submerged or something. So maybe it's like hanging out in the algal algal water, and that's kind of spicy. I, I'm not sure about that. We don't. Some red flashed up there for a second. Yeah. 
You want to jump back into the um Oh no. There it is. Uh can we slam them? We can. We could also jump. No, we can't jump. Yes, we can jump. We can, but is is the slamming would be better in some ways. Yes. Okay, they just do, did their charge, so they're not going to be able to do it again. Um, and they're stunned right now. So just, like, shoot them, throw grenades, kill them with violence. Uh, hologram. Yeah, oh, confusion. Amazing. You just shoot them while they're confused. also breathe stun gas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great idea. Holy crap, that's a huge cone. Yeah. All there right. you go. Absolutely do not give that thing any chance, any opportunity to touch you. What? Okay. Ah! <laughs> uh, um... we could conk it. This is the best I can I got for you right now. Yeah, I mean I, like I, I cannot develop hol hologram. Yeah, go for it. I think that would help. I could stun him again. He's already in the gas. But yeah, go like throw down the bracelet, stun him. Oh Jesus. Conk him. Stunned. Um, you could jump, sprint. try jumping away now. It's not a bad idea. Juke, not bad either. All right, it's all good. Shoot him a few times. Unfortunately, you're holo- sprint away and sh I could sprint a few times. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Shoot that's, him. that's a good idea. Our sleep gas will probably come off cooldown. Um, and then we can stun him again. Shoot him again. Yeah, that's the problem though, is he's, he's gonna duck into the reef and now we can't see him and we won't be able to see him for a while. Oh, there he is. Uh, throw your throw your gas out before he gets too close because he, he apparently has a very low cooldown on his um, charge. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually, I was gonna say exactly that is uh, you could deactivate no, that does not. Bling quills. That does. That does not. I think he's stunned. Okay, good, good, good. Throw your throw some more gas out. What did he? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. Oh God. All right, we did it. We did it. Um, that was the equivalent of a saw hander, by the way. I figured as much. Yeah, it, it's it's just real bad. <laughs> um, let's end the episode here, and then maybe in the beginning of the next one we can jump into another clam. How's that sound? Sure. All right. If you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. It was a giant clam. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened? All right. Nothing. All right. Goodbye.